and welcome to Adventures in TV Land. For today's adventure, I am in Troy, Illinois. I've come here to check out the old log cabin. So let's go and check it out. And there it is. The reproduction of the 1857 Mersinger cabin built in 2002 by the Troy Historical Society. Uh, the recording of this video is on Memorial Day weekend 2023. I'm not for sure why the flags are at half mast. In Illinois, the flags have been at half mast for like two years. Uh, I, I'm not for sure why. It's some, some sort of proclamation from the governor, I'm sure. And I do know occasionally they have this cabin open on weekends where you can walk through it. Now, Troy is a town that was located on the Illinois portion of the National Historic Road, the Historic National Road that went from out east, I believe it went all the way from Maryland, began. It was the first highway of the country designated by Thomas Jefferson. See in there, they got a table with some guest book and some items. It's a stove and set up just like the old cabins were. We'll come around, we'll peek through a couple of the other windows. But anyway, with the uh, historic national, historic national road, uh, Thomas Jefferson designated it and it's supposed to go from Maryland all the way to St. Louis. But it stopped originally right around Vandalia, Illinois. And then years later, it was completed and it went from Vandalia to St. Louis, three St. Louis. Uh, there's a peek through, see a little bit better. How would you like you and your family of you know, you and your wife and six or seven kids to all live in the space here, eating, sleeping, playing, dressing, sometimes even bodily functions. Because you would have the little, the little pot, chamber pot. Look through the other window. Got one more window to peek in. Actually, I guess two more windows. Got a little bitty baby tiny loom there. Something I think is kind of cool here too is that they've got the wishing well. They've got the well right there. It's where they could get water from. Water from the well. Oh, the, the well's got a plaque on it. And the plaque says, dedicated to the Troy Historical Society by Kaylin Needing, Boy Scout Troop 1226, May 2014. Thanks to Bill and Jeannie. Perry, Home Depot, Lowe's Kelly Construction, Market Basket. So, it's a, probably an Eagle Scout project. Now, now before cabin. I continue any further, I just want to say, hope you are enjoying this video. If you do, you can help support this channel. If you enjoy, are enjoying this video, or. If you've enjoyed any of the adventures in TV land, there are hundreds of videos I have, hundreds of shorts. And if you enjoy those, you can support the channel by going to either buy me a coffee or Patreon. And you can make a donation or becoming a member at either one of those places. You could also just become a member here on YouTube, just $3 a month. You can become a member, a membership that will give you 
postcard I'll send to you every month as well. I will add your name to a credit list at the end of these Adventures in TV Land videos. So you can see your name in these videos as well. We're talking about the National Road. Here is a placard about the National Road. Talking about the town of Troy. The Mersinger cabin is just south here of Troy. It was built in 1859. So it wasn't the first cabin, I guess. Let's talk some here about the National Road. See, in 1806, President Thomas Jefferson signed legislation to provide federal funding for a national road from Cumberland, Maryland to the Mississippi River. The National Road was a highway for pioneers eager to settle the West. Today is US 40, the National Road in US in Illinois spans 164 miles from Indiana to East St. Louis. So you see here it started in Maryland, Cumberland, Maryland, went to Pennsylvania, part of West Virginia, through Ohio, Indiana, here to Illinois, to East St. Louis. There you have it, the historic Mersinger cabin here in Troy, Illinois. If you've liked this video, hit that like button. If you disliked, hit the dislike button. Subscribe to my channel for further content and ring that bell for email notifications. And if there's some place that you would like to see me visit or you have a suggestion about some future video you'd like to see me do, leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Until next time, that's a wrap. Okay, there is a headless bird right there, a decapitated bird. So I'm sure there was a cat or something that was out here. Right there, a decapitated bird.